Good morning and happy Independence Week. So I wasn't here on the actual fourth. Good morning again, in case you missed it. Happy Independence Week. I wasn't here on the fourth, but this is close enough. So let's all get up and do a great circuit today in honor of a great country. With that said, what will we be doing today? We will be using our 2B. This is going to be our summer strength circuit. So our goal for the summer is to up the ante a little bit on building some muscle, 60 up some muscle, and of course to continue working the cardio and the balance component thanks to our 60 up platform uh, board. So please do attach your tubing and let me go over that real quick in case some of you are new and haven't used your tubing before. Let me put my flag to the side. All right, so the tubing, just a real quick reminder on how this works. It loops through these slots in the front and side of your board. So please, if you haven't uh, got them on or set, grab your tubes and let's do this together. You're gonna take the non foam handle side, just a strap. You're gonna push it up and through the notch on the side, lace the handle through that Velcro strap, and then just tug until it comes to a nice tight uh, loop around that slotch, <laughs> notch, loop around the notch, all these words here. And then you just hang it up on your little handle hanger. Now we're going to do both sides. So just to make sure I give you time to do that, please do the same thing on this side. Notice that I have them on the side notches versus the front. And I am using my shorter tubes. I know that your board came with two sets. If you're new and you're a little worried that the resistance might be too great, feel free to use the longer tubing. If not, then use the shorter tubes as I have on. And you can always modify by doing less reps if it becomes a little too much tension. Now let's just say you can't find your tubes today. So what are we gonna do? Well, if you happen to have any light weights around, you can do the same movements holding a weight. So when I'm up on board, I'll let you know when we're gonna do a weighted part of the circuit, you grab your weight, you come back on board, and you can do the same move that we're doing with the tube with a weight. So that's just an option um, in case you don't have uh, tubes around. Now, if you don't have any weights either, know that you can use something like a full water bottle as a weight, just to give you a sense of slowing down your movement and engaging more muscle. Sometimes it's mind to muscle, much like it is when we're doing our 60 up board movements for balance. The same is true with strength to tighten up that muscle has to start here in the brain. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll put a little background beat up. We are gonna be circuiting back and forth between either cardio, balance, or strength moves, probably all three, all right? Probably, we shall see. All right, let me check real quick before I get back and started. And I see that Eileen is here. Hi, Eileen, thanks for coming back today. Uh, long or short? Thanks for asking. You know, I put my short ones on, but if you find, maybe on one side put a short, I, I, I don't know. I, let's just test it today. Um, if you have the longs, it gives you more range of motion. So let me just explain what I mean by that. If this were the longer handle, then I would be able to maybe go higher in my lift before I felt tension in the deltoid. But if it's going too high, you don't want that arm to be able to go all the way up. So sometimes it's testing it. These are great for bicep curls and some of the lower range movements. The longer ones just give you a little bit more slack to work with. So that's a hard question. Thank you for asking, but it is a trial and error. So do feel free if you just try it this time, then if you redo the workout, if you found it was either too long or short. All right, I don't know if I answered that as good as I could. 
but there you go. Sometimes it's a trial and error based thing. All right, Chad, good to see you here this morning as well. And with you guys in the room and able to hear me, I'm gonna get started because we have a lot to get to today in this workout and I don't wanna waste a precious minute. Make sure you do have some water nearby because it is summertime, it's hot, we need to stay hydrated, as well as a chair or a couch or something you can sit down on if you get tired and need to take a personal break. Personal breaks are allowed because that's how we progress, is by stopping when we need to and then as you keep doing the workouts over and over again, it's a real um, reward when you find that you can make it all the way through without stopping. So that could be a goal. All right, let's get the music going and let's get moving. I hope you guys are ready for a great workout today. I know I am. All right, little background beat. Hopefully not too loud. I do come back for water break, so if it's hard to hear me, any other technical difficulties, I'll check my comments, so let me know, okay? Let's come on back. Everybody stand up nice and tall. Let's just do a posture check. Feet about hip width apart, shoulders back and down, chin parallel to the floor, head up nice and high, just like a string was pulling you to the ceiling. Deep breath up, and down, again, up, Let's do two more like that. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last one. Now hands come onto the poles, lift up and drop down, heels only. Let's pull up the fingers as we do this. Stretch them out. That'll remind you not to over grip those handles. Rise up, drop down, up. Keep that core engaged. A little bracing around midline. Good. Boy, these stripes on my computer look like they're flashing. Four more. And three. And two. And one. Now let's walk. But walk on the heels. So I want you to pick up your toes and imagine you're just trying to pound the floor with the heel of your shoe. Good. Hang on. Keep those toes peeled up. That's it. Good. Four, three, two. Now walk on your toes the exact opposite. Heels are up. Can you see my feet? Heels are up. Easy, light, march, right, left. Good. Now normal or flat-footed walk, march. Warming up those feet, let's do it again. Walk on your heels, heels first. These are the hardest. Gotta wake up those tibialis anterior muscles. On the toes, calf muscles, hello. Chin up, chest up. And then again, back to normal footfall. Excellent. Now let's do some tapping. So tap up and down. Just toe to the red line. Get that body used to shifting from one foot to the other, from two feet to one foot. That's it. Now let's hit the heel instead of the toe on the next few. Heel tap. Pull those toes back. Good. Again. Once in a while, wiggle those fingers and your thumb. Take a nice deep breath. Okay, now to the side, we're gonna tap out and in, toe touch on the floor. Just warming up those hip muscles. That's it. Right, then left. Again. And heel tap side. Heel. So let your hip turn out a little bit on this. Rotating in that hip joint just a bit. Out, in. Yep, we're celebrating. Independence Week here today at the 60 Up members page. Invite your friends. Even if they don't have a board, they can go ahead and try some of these moves and maybe it'll encourage them to want to get a board. Two more. All right, easy knee bends right here. Bend and extend. 
Go back and think about your upper body posture. Head high, chest up. Good. All right, now from here, let's just sit back into our hips, come down with your body, and then roll up through your spine real slow. Sit back with your hips, round your back, come up real slow. Again, sit back, chair squat. Taking that warm up all the way up to the spine, to the neck, all the way through that torso. Nice deep breaths as you're doing this, please. Inhale and exhale. One more. Roll all the way up, nice and tall. Standing, let's just circle those shoulders back. That's nice, right here. Inhale and exhale. Let's get that shoulder girdle moving, mobilizing. Now we're gonna take one arm at a time and do a little bit of a backstroke. Elbow bent at first. Backstroke, backstroke. So we're just warming up right now, getting, getting our joints mobilized, the blood flow moving, the synovial fluid out there to the joints. That'll make for a much smoother workout. Inhale and exhale. Good. And if you're comfortable, you can start to let that arm extend back to a more straight or backstroke position. That's it. You can allow your torso to rotate slightly outward as you circle back. Excellent. Couple more. Last one. And then we're gonna take the right arm and we're gonna just go up and over and down. And do the same thing with the left. Waking up the lateral muscles of the body. Up and over. Stretch them out. Contract them back. Inhale and exhale. Feel that rib cage lift. Up and over. Two more. Last one. And now let's put those hands back on the poles and do a little bit of neck loosening. Right, center, left center. And then the next set, we're going to look behind your shoulder to the right, center, and behind left. Use your eyes as well. Good. Look behind. Look behind. Two more. Last one. And then a nice slow half circle down and from one shoulder to the next. Get any kinks out of the neck that you might still have from last night or yesterday. Roll that stress away. Two more. Last one. And let's bring that head back to center and start with a light march right, left, right, left. Nice slow tempo, just to kind of get your legs moving. Good. Chin up, chest up. Now we're gonna go right into a basic slow step, right lead, ready? Up, up, down, down. Step on and let your body feel that rocking action of the board naturally underneath your feet. Let it react, let it just move with the board. Get comfortable with it. Good, again, up, up, down. So many important balance related things are happening as your body reacts to this less than flat or stable surface. That little bit of motion that allows your body to have to work to find its balance and control. Good. Adjusting without even having to think about it. That's what you want your neuromuscular system to stay good at so that when you hit that little bump in the road, your body can absorb it without any fall or injury. Here we go, four more. Let's go four, down, three, last two, one more. And then we're gonna stay on the floor and do some heel drops. Now, just let your heels make a bouncing action up and down 
And you can do the same thing with your palms. This is just a little jarring activity for the bones. You want to pull up your pelvic floor, keep your posture tall, and just do a nice soft bounce. Toes are staying on the ground. It's only the heels that are coming up and down. Keep your glutes tight. Keep your shoulders back and down. Excellent. Slow march left, left, right. So we're going to repeat that series to get that heart rate warmed up in the training zone, leading with our left leg now. All right, basic left. So left, up, left down. Good, climb that stair. You've got this. Up, two, again. Let's try a little wider step on this side. So let your toes kind of turn out a little bit. Out, two, back, two. So sometimes we, I like to call this a wide step or a V as in victory step. Here we go. Out, out, back, back. Tall posture, chest up, chin up. Core engaged. Nice full foot on and full foot down, meaning the heels go all the way down to the floor. Nice. Again, go up, two, down. One more. And then let's go into a little wider position with our feet. Toes out, knees out, and do another heel drop from a different position. Pull up that pelvic floor. Keep those glutes tight. Keep those thighs tight. Excellent. Let them drop. Classic heel drops, which actually there has been some research done on showing some improvement or maintenance of bone density by adding in a couple sets of this, maybe a couple times a week for every day. Even. In four, three, two, one. Now let's go back to the center. Ease out those muscles a little bit with a pedaling action. Heels come up, heels come down. Good. How you feel? All right, so we're ready to step on board, right, left, and let's rock in place. Okay, let's just start our first circuit now that we've warmed up nicely. And I did give you a nice long warm up here so that we could go right into the circuit and be pretty aggressive. We're gonna do a minute of cardio up on top, just a little rocking action, put a little more pressure in it. Push, push, make that board shift. Use the weight of your feet, your ankles, your knees, your hips. You can even push your poles a little bit with the palms and you're gonna feel some contraction into those biceps chest and shoulder muscles. Push right, left, or left, right. There we go. I'm hoping you're feeling like your heart rate and respiratory rate are increasing to where you're breathing a little heavier and you can sense that you're working a little harder than you were a few minutes ago. Here we go, 10 more seconds. We can do this. That's great. Eight, seven, six, five. Feel free to count down with me. Okay, now center out. From here, we're just gonna balance and sit back into our hips. Hold it. Now I want you to stabilize this and we're gonna balance and tap our toes. So I'm sitting back in my hips. I'm keeping my core engaged and I'm tapping the toes to challenge the position a little bit. Here we go, here we go. So we're gonna stabilize after our cardio a little bit and work on balance. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now let's roll out of it. Stand up tall and grab the handle if you have it or go get your weight if you don't. Grab the handle on the left side. 
step wider. And from here, we're just gonna rock and press. Arm is gonna uppercut towards the right from the left. Good, and lunge. So we're working on some strength now in that upper body with that arm pattern. Cross and lift, cross and lift. Excellent. You got this. Keep going. Right, left, right, left. So I know I was asked earlier about what length the cord. So some moves like this, the longer cord might give you a little more range, but it won't give you as much resistance. So you kind of have to choose what challenge you want or you're ready for. Four and three and two and one. Now turn to the left, pivot with both feet, lower body. We're gonna go down and up. Now just hold that cord up by your shoulder to keep this more about the lower body than the upper body. So bend both knees and lift. Lunge in place. You can be grounded forward on your board, meaning the left side is on the floor. Down, up. Feel those leg muscles contracting. Good job. Down, up. Yes. Keep your chin up. Keep your chest up. Are you feeling it yet? Four more. And three. And two. And one, okay, put that handle down, shake that arm off, rock it out wide. Okay, second set, we're gonna go back to the cardio with a nice side to side press, using those legs and arms, bring the feet in. Awesome, and let's go. So don't forget, when we get to our strength move in the second set of this circuit, you're gonna be using that tube over there. All right, let's go, heels up. Heels down, press it out, chin and chest. Use those arms by pushing the palms into the poles as well. Keep your posture up, rock it side to side. Some of you that want to advance this can let your feet come up like a little board jog. Chin up, chest up. Deep breaths, you've got this. Always know you can slow it down as well or take a little mini pause if you need to and just do some light knee bending. But it's a minute. Hopefully you guys can last a minute with this move. Let's go. Excellent. Keep it up, keep it up. 10 more seconds. In eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. All right, sit back. Find your center, balance the board, balance the board. Now we're adding a pulse with the hips this time. So remember last time we did the little toe raises? This time we're just doing a little quad press. So sit back into your hips. I'm gonna, you stay where you're at, but I'm gonna turn to the side so you have a better view of what's happening. I'm in my sit back squat and I'm just lightly bending my knees as I surf the board right there. Try to keep that board centered, balanced. Whew, breathe. You got this. Chest up, chin up. Excellent. Almost eight and seven and six and five, four, three, two, one. All right, now we're gonna come over here and grab this other handle, the right handle. If you did the right last time, then do the left this time. And let's widen the stance, lunging and uppercutting. Feel that bicep, feel that chest, feel that shoulder, good. Flip it forward, swing it back. Lead with the legs as well. So settle your weight right and left. Good. Inhale, exhale, engage those muscles. Think about that arm muscle, bicep, the forearm, the shoulder, the chest. Rock it side to side. You got this. Keep going. X 
Excellent. Now with resistance training, you always want to just kind of stop once you feel fatigue is at a pretty good level, you feel the muscles you intend to work getting tired, then just take a break. Hold the hand at the hip. You don't have to go anymore. Three, two, one, and then we're going to turn in the direction of the right pole. Whoo, shake that arm out a little bit. It should be tired. Bring it up here and get in a position to do some nice split lunges. Down, up. Both knees bending. See how I keep my tube up at my shoulder? That's going to add some resistance to the leg movement. Bend both knees. Keep your posture up tall. Head high. Both knees bending. If you need to adjust your foot positioning, to make it feel more comfortable on that back knee. Slide that foot back, but just make sure you keep it on the board. Good, down, up, up. If this starts to bother your knees, you can also, again, take a little break or reduce the range of motion. Don't bend so far down. We all have to listen to our own joints, don't we? Down, up, breathe. Four more, and three, and two. Last one, all right, hook it up. Woo! Let's come off the board, bottom out, step back, and let's get some water. Shake it off a little bit. That was two bouts or rounds in the circuit. Really good work, and so we're gonna take a little break right here. Hi, Pat, good to see you here. Okay, everyone drink up. Release three gulps. And it's always nice to kind of get a little water break at least every 20 minutes during a workout, okay? That keeps you better hydrated for the rest of the workout and also just for the rest of the day. Okay, so here we go. It's time to get back up. We're gonna start on the floor this time. With our next cardio bout, we're gonna step up and off just on the center red line. So I just want you to step up and off. You can let that back foot come up a little bit, alternating. So it's up, down, down. Up, down, down. A little curl in the back, a little hamstring curl. Good. Nice. You've got it. So step up right, curl left. Step up left, curl right. Keep a nice steady flow going. Let your body just react as it tries to balance that board. Nice. Step and curl. Right in the center. Excellent. Whew. Heart rate back up again. You got this. Lift. Now also notice when I do step down, I'm taking the time to let my full foot, toe ball heel, come onto the ground. Good. A couple more. Two, last one. Now I want you to step up with your right, balance, and let's just take the knee up and back. Balance, up and back. So that nice, steady balance on the right leg as you move around, forward and back with the left. Lift and down. It's up and down. Right on that ankle to stay tall, to stay well balanced in the center of that board. I know it's not easy. Here we go again. Lift and press and lift and press. Almost. Remember, you're standing on your right leg. So when we do our second set, we'll be standing on your left leg, okay? A couple more. Up and back 
and up and back. Last set coming up, up and back. Okay, now let's edge over to the right side of our board. Grab your tubing, right hand, bottom out on that right side. Let's do an upright or a lateral raise. So upright would be with a bent elbow, lateral would be the straight. If you're finding it's too hard to do it with the straight one, try it with the bent elbow. It gives you a little bit more range of motion on the lift. Good, keep it going. Up, down, up. Look in that shoulder. Now if it bothers your shoulder, bring it more forward than out to the side. Sometimes if you have a little impingement here, it helps not to be too lateral on this one. Up, out, lift, drop, lift, drop. Again, excellent. Two more, one more. All right, now settle onto that one leg and balance. Give me a one, now make sure your knee's not gonna hit your pole. So you might have to angle your knee out a bit. You're gonna do a one-legged squat and you can have a little bicep action going on as well. So keep that left leg in the air. Bend that right knee and hip. Down and up. Ooh, nice lower body strengthener. And again, remember, if you're having any pain in the hip or knee or ankle, reduce the range or the amount of reps. Down, up, down, up. I'm taking each move for about a minute, just so you know, which is probably somewhere around 16 to 20 reps. Good, but who's counting? Two more, and last one, awesome. Put that cord back on, and let's step off our board. Shake off this side a little bit. Let's get rid of some of that lactic acid that builds in those muscles when you get them close to fatigue. And let's go back to our alternating curls, but on a diagonal this time. So we're gonna step cross, curl, down, two. Cross, curl, down, two. Let your toes turn outward a little so you make a nice transition from right to left, keeping the knees and the toes and the hips all in good alignment. So if you're watching my feet, you'll notice they kind of V out as I make my turn. Good. And up, down, two, curl back. Good, nice and steady. Excellent. Keep going. You've got this. Again. stay on this side. Oh wait, no wait, I said we had to get on our left leg. So let's come back to the center, up and back. that right hip forward and back. Good job. Try to keep that board nice and centered. Excellent. Almost. Last two. Last one. All right, let's scooch over to the left. Take that left cord, find your balance, 
You might need to turn out a little bit, but lift that arm either a little more forward if it bothers your shoulder, or with a bent elbow if it's not giving you enough range of motion. Up, down, up. Focus on keeping your body really stable and upright, head and shoulders stacked. And just work through that shoulder girdle and deltoid. Up, down, breathe. Again, we got this, lift. Don't be in a hurry in either direction. And try not to lift so high that you start straining your neck. Keep that shoulder girdle dropped and work from the shoulder cap. Here we go, four and three, stop when you need to. All right, one, now we're gonna get on that foot, we're gonna do that single leg squat with a curl. Make sure your knee's not gonna hit your pole. Ready, here we go for the curl. Bend that knee. Keep that chest up. Curl that arm. Keep that body tall. Core engaged, neck long. Nice. Now another way you can modify this is by putting your foot like a kickstand behind you. It'll still keep more of the work in that front leg, but it'll be a little easier than trying to do it completely on one leg. So know your body, stay within your limits, so you're comfortable and can keep good form as that muscle fatigue is building, hopefully, in the arm and thigh. A couple more. Chest up, chin up, last two, last one. Ooh, all right. Put that handle up, step off, shake off this side, now let's get our second water break or sip of water. Just checking in on you. All right. Well, I'm glad you guys are here and with me. So let's get those bodies hydrated. We got one more bout to do. Sometimes I call it about or around. Basically, it's when we put together the circuit, cardio, balance, and then strength. All right, last set. How's that? This class goes fast because there's so much we're doing in it that it does seem to move fast. So let's step up onto our board right, left, and we're gonna walk it out and in, right first, right, left, right, left. Let it sink as you go out. Sink it, sink it, bring it in. Sink it, sink it. Now it is okay if you look down for a few reps just to make sure your feet are going in a good position on the board so they're not hanging off or misstepping, but once you get your feet going pretty well, you do want to bring your vision back up as soon as possible so that you don't get a kink in the neck. All right, out, out, in, in. Now I am going to invite those of you that want to make this a little bit harder, don't feel like you have to, a little increase in pace. So you can go out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Your choice. Gotta keep those knees bent a little. Gotta use those arms a little more to control those poles. Grip them a little harder. Woo! Or slow down if you need to. Remember, the choice is yours. It's key to have some good ways to either increase or decrease intensity. So you can feel comfortable, but also feel challenged. Here we go. Out, in, again. Or maybe you're going faster still. That's cool if you are. One, two, three, four, one, two. Out, out. 
Almost. Fast. One and in. Okay, now from here in the center, rise up and down. Balance onto those toes. Now, if you want to make this even tougher from a balance perspective, you can lift one arm up and then the other. Your choice. Up, down. Calf raises. Tight body. Balance that board. Control it through those foot actions, but also through that whole core by engaging or tightening your gluteal muscles. I'm telling you, I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, but I feel like my shirt is neon and flashing. Good, a couple more. Last two, last one. Okay, let's step back to the right side. But this time we're gonna face the side completely. We're gonna grab that right handle, feet together, body planing downward. We're gonna bring the arm up towards your belly button. Hold the handle and give me a nice straight-legged bend and hinge at the hip without allowing your spine to round. So it's a good morning exercise for the hips and buttocks. Good. Down and up. Biceps are contracted because they're pulling upward on that cord. Now, if you need to hold the handle with that one arm and just hold the hand up, uh, the tubing with the other, that's fine as well. Notice I'm not rounding out my spine at all. I'm trying to lean as far forward as I can, but just with the hip joint moving, right? take your right foot and slide it back so you're in a lunge position and then row that arm. So we started with the legs this time instead of the arms. But now we or the, not the arms, the upper body. Lower body versus upper body. Of course this is arms but hopefully you're also feeling it in the shoulder and back. Lean forward and put your weight a little bit into that front knee so that you're having a nice torso lean without rounding the back or dropping the chin. Just pull with those mid-back and posture muscles. Such a great exercise for that. Up, then over row. Again, lift, release. You might also feel that front thigh getting a little tired as you hang out over it. Up, down, up, four more. Four, and three, and two, and one. Go ahead and put that handle on that hook. Step together with your feet. Step to front with your feet. Take your time transitioning to forward position and ease it out a little bit just by bending the knees and jutting the hip just a slight bit to the side. Good. All right, guys, we have one more set to do, one more round, and we're gonna do the same thing, but we'll end up on the left side of the board instead of the right side. Okay, so what did we do? We started with our right, let's start with our left this time. We'll step out, two, in, two. Out, two, in, and out, and in. Again, wide step, narrow step. Now remember, you have the option of picking up the pace. Out, out, in, in. Your choice. Don't worry about the way I'm doing it. Do it the way you want to do it. Good, out, out. When you go faster, you're probably making the step a little smaller than when you were going wider and slower. And that's fine too. Whatever feels good for you to elevate that heart rate, to keep that nice blood flow going from toes to arms 
to bring. Good. Ow, ow. Whew. Keep it up. Excellent. Now remember, you can slow down at any time you need to. Sometimes you just need to slow down to take a bit of a break without stopping completely. It's out, out. Or you might be still pacing up. Four more. Three more. Two. And last one. Awesome. Back to the feet together. Calf raise. Here we go. Up. Realign your feet so that they're about equal distance from the red line in the center. Lift that chin up. Now this time, push onto your handles as you go up. Like you're trying to do a push up over a wall. Push your upper body a little as you rise up. So engage more of the shoulder girdle as you push down with your palms. Down. Head high. Up. Up. Try to keep that board as stable as possible. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Good. Breathe with me, guys. Lift. Exhale. Again. Up. Up. Two more. One, and then we're going to edge over to the left side. Grab that left handle. Bring it up by the chest. One or both hands. And give me that nice bent over good morning exercise. Some people call it a deadlift. Good. Again, if you don't need to hold your handle, you can hold the tubing with both hands. Sometimes it just makes you feel a little more unrestricted when it comes to trying to lean in as far as you can. Now remember, what I don't want you to have is a back that leans. So the back comes forward without rounding. That is key to this exercise because that allows you to be working with your butt and hamstrings versus your lower back, which we want to avoid at all costs. So we don't want to strain the lower back. And again, same rule, reduce the range of motion if you feel that it's creating too much tension in your back. Good. Again, chest up, chin up, glutes back. Looking that lower body, back side. Good work, guys. Keep breathing. We are almost there. Two more. Last one. Now slide the, the left leg back into a lunge. You can still stay grounded into the front leg a little bit because you want to lean over it and give me a nice body row, bend over row. Nice. Then sometimes the tubing isn't offering enough resistance when you're holding the handle. So you can grab beneath the handle to create a little more tension for a stronger muscle group like it's lot like the lats are. Good. Up and back. Pull. Try to keep your head up high and your back long and strong. You know, when you keep your posture up like this, during a move like this, all the muscles of the core are also engaging to help out. So you are getting a nice core exercise at the same time as you're working the larger muscles in the back and bicep. Good. Oh, I hear the cool down. Four more. Three. Two. And one. You're done. Hang it up. All right, from here, let's go ahead and bring the feet together to the front end of the board. And I just want you to pivot with small steps all the way around 360. Or wait, is that 360? No, it's not. 180. And I just want you to let your heels hang off 
and think about stretching your calves off the edge of the board. Toes are up, heels are off. Hold on to one or both handles. And just drop those heels, sink them down, and stretch those calves. You can even bend one knee and put a little bit more weight into one of the calves. And then do the same thing, try it with the other one. You'll feel a lot more stretching tension going on when you do that. Nice work. Inhale and exhale. Stand up nice and tall. And now I want you to take and step your right foot a little further up on the board and your left foot off the board and behind you. I'm going to move my board forward a little bit so that I have more room for this stretch. Hopefully you don't have your couch behind you so you don't have to. And you're just going to get into a nice runner's lunge. Pushing that hip forward. Pushing. You can step that right foot further up the board to get a little deeper hip stretch. Holding your pole, chin up, chest up. Try to straighten the back leg. Try to tighten the gluteal muscle, which will open up the hip flexor. Another really tight muscle group that needs some TLC in the stretch. Heel is down. Try the same thing with a bent back leg where you sink into that stretch, pulling the stretch down the length of the quadricep, but keeping the chest up, the shoulders back and down. Nice deep breath. And then from here, we're going to take the back leg and step it in. Take a second, step it in, straighten the front leg, pull the front toe up, and lean over the front leg, stretching the hamstring. Your hand could be on this left thigh, or both can stay on your pole, whatever's more comfortable. Getting a really nice stretch for those leg muscles. In the end, the static stretcher should be held about three to five deep breaths. And then we're gonna switch legs. So take your right leg, step off the board, put your left leg on the board, reposition that back leg so that you feel a nice stretch when you bend that front knee. The knee stays behind the toe, the heel stays on the floor. Feel for the stretch in that right hip. Keep your chest up. Inhale and exhale. Tighten your glute on that right side. Hold it. Breathe. Sink the back knee down. Feel a deeper stretch in this back thigh, that thigh right there. Sink down. Keep that chin and chest up and pull the waistline in a bit. That will help keep your lower back in a nice neutral position. Hold it. Breathe it. Relax it. Step the back foot up. Straighten the front leg with the toe up. Sit over it and back into it. You can hold that other handle if that makes more sense for you. Trying to keep your back long and strong from head to hip. And keep this leg straight. And just stretch out that hamstring. Inhaling and exhaling. Like I said, I usually like to give enough time to take three to five deep breaths. <clears throat> Go ahead and step off the board. That usually works itself to about a 20 second stretch. Go ahead and step back. Come to the side now. Put your feet about shoulder width apart. Reach up and over towards the board. And just twist this arm. Kind of like you're twisting it in the shoulder girdle. Putting a light bulb in and out. Keep your feet flat. Stretch and breathe. Breathe. 
Bring that arm out to the side and circle it around. Oh, opening up that shoulder. And then place it behind you and drop it while lifting that shoulder cap and lifting your neck and leaning your head towards your 60 up board. Stretching your neck. Let your chin roll downward towards your collarbone. Stretching the back of the neck. And then we're gonna reverse that and look to the ceiling with our eyes and our nose and our chin. Stretching and breathing. And then bring the head back to the center and up and step to the other side of your board. So you can get the other side in, okay? So once again, we're gonna hold on and we're gonna reach shoulder width apart with the legs are wider. Reach up and do a little twisting motion with your arm. Good. Try to keep the feet flat, the legs straight, and just reach and stretch down the side of the body. Really nice. Bring it up tall and just slowly circle that arm back and around. Releasing tension in that shoulder joint. Some of those muscles we work during those lateral raises. You know, some bicep curls. Nice. And then bring the arm in behind you. Pull down with the shoulder so that this shoulder cap drops. Standing nice and tall. Tilt the head towards the board. Breathing. Let the chin drop towards the collarbone, towards the board. And then rotate the neck so that you're looking up to the ceiling on the right side with the eyes, nose, and chin. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Through the nose. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Bring the head back up. Bring the arm down. Shake it out a little bit. Face your board. And then from a nice stable position facing the board, inhale up. Exhale down. Bring the hands together. Bow to your board for being here for you today. Bow to me for being here for you today and bow to yourself for making time to be here today. That is it for today and hopefully you enjoyed this. Know that they do stay on the website so you can come back and do it at your own timing or do it more times a week than just on Wellness Wednesday. And I also post them up on YouTube under the 60 Up page. So if there's an old one we did that you really remember and liked, I try to wear a different shirt every time so that you might recognize the workout by the shirt. But in any case, the more the merrier. So let's do as many workouts as you can. Minimum three times a week is recommended. So that would be great if I could get you to work out with Dan on Tuesday, Thursday, myself on Wednesday, or whatever days during the week that you prefer. It is nice to have a day off in between. All right, thank you again. And I'll see you next week. Signing off, Kathy Stevens, Wellness Wednesday.